today to share with all of you some general observations on some remarks on applications of statistical techniques. For long, there has been a growing interest in the applications of statistical techniques in various branches of knowledge. In fact, the present trend of research has become more towards empirical studies. Those days are now gone when an established scholar of his field sitting in his armchair, having a cigar between his lips and thinking deeply on some matters, comes out with some result and that result is accepted by all. Today, theories of even great and recognized scholars of their fields fail to get recognition if they are not supported by data, if they do not pass statistical tests. But sometimes it is painful to observe that in some cases statistical techniques are used blindly as a rule of thumb without caring for the underlying assumptions and their implications. It would not be exaggeration to say that today some researchers are imaging big mathematical and statistical formulae for the sake of giving their research the look of a scientific study. I remember one incident in this context. I started my career from a then nationally reputed research institute in Patna as a research fellow in statistics. My one senior colleague was that time pursuing his research in psychology for the PhD degree. One day he came to me with all his numerical data that he had collected and sought my advice with respect to the statistical analysis. I went through the data very carefully and had to say to him with every heart that nothing more than percentages could be possible to be calculated. It was a bolt from blue for him. But he insisted me to do something. Not only this, he requested me to calculate chi square. On my asking why chi square, he replied that the symbol of chi square looks very nice and so it would be decorative for the PhD thesis. It would give an impression that some scientific mathematical work had been done. The techniques of a statistical analysis are not of universal applications. Some techniques are suitably and usefully employed in one field of knowledge and others in other fields. Statistical tools must first of all be used for the purpose for which they are valid. One shouldn't use a blacksmith hammer to regulate a watch or a goldsmith hammer to bend an iron rod. A statistical method may be suitable for one purpose and for others it may be quite unsuitable. 
This is very often overlooked by some research workers in various disciplines who have little statistical background. They continue torturing data to get them confess to whatever they want. This is not at all advisable. Statistics is quite a complex subject. Its theories are full of assumptions. Only those can make it successful use who have extensive and intimate knowledge of the subject. Those researchers who do not know much of statistics should not form out a statistical analysis and draw conclusions on the basis of their results whose potentialities and limitations they do not fully realize. For researchers of any discipline, statistics is a very useful tool, extremely valuable for those who have mastered its use, extremely dangerous for those who have not. Not only they, the statisticians also, who do not know the field from which data are drawn, may not be able to interpret the results of analysis of data. Knowledge of statistics alone doesn't qualify one for researching any field. Therefore, both the knowledge of the discipline and mastery in the use of statistical tools are necessary qualifications for quantitative research. In short, a researcher must be both master of his own field as well as a statistician. A tool which offers so much flexibility and precision in advancing scientific knowledge should unquestionably be mastered and utilized by those who are seeking to push back the boundaries of pitifully circumscribed areas of valid scientific knowledge. Keeping these in view, it seems essential to train the researchers of various fields in the applications of statistical techniques. There is need of starting some specialized short-term courses in statistical techniques for various specified groups of research workers such as medical doctors, social and behavioral scientists, and others who are engaged in research in their fields. A statistics is basically an applied subject. A statistical theory is of little value if it has no application in social, behavioral, biological sciences or any other branch of knowledge. There should not be much gap between the emergence of new statistical theories and their applications. But we find that on one hand, a large number of sophisticated statistical tools are being emerged and on the other hand, data from many fields remain unanalyzed in want of some appropriate statistical tool. Thus, there emerges a big gap between theory and practice. 
The statisticians in our country have a general grievance that they are not consulted at the time of planning and designing of a research plan. Most of the researchers approach statisticians for data analysis only after the data had finally been collected. It is just like this that a patient goes to a doctor and says that he is suffering from malaria and wishes the doctor to prescribe the medicines for malaria. To call in a statistician after the data are collected maybe no more than asking him to make normal a newly born handicapped baby. Had they consulted the statisticians at the time of planning, sought their advice, much more fruitful results would have been possible to draw. So there is a need to provide a platform to both statisticians and researchers and discuss the research problems right from the stage of planning. This is likely to improve the quality of research in two ways. Firstly, that the statisticians would give more attention to the improvement of quality of data and would search for better measurement techniques. Secondly, as the researchers of various fields would come closer to the statisticians, they would find greater opportunity to learn more and more about different sophisticated statistical tools and their limitations. I would conclude my talk by congratulating the Devendra Misra Institute of Statistics, Patna, which is trying to provide a common platform for statisticians and researchers of various applied disciplines to come together and discuss their problems. Thank you.